At so least here's this how is... this goes. Oh, yeah. It's a two, it's the... Yeah, now you. Now I was thrown off by the way. Uh, it's one versus one. Oh, Kapal. Okay, pal. I, I thought I recognized someone. Kapal is in SNJ. All right. And Chippy. Haven't we... Oh, we, we've... Is... Haven't we seen this already? Wow, I am so, like... This is supposed to be round of eight, right? But I recognize the nicknames. I have to go check if this is actually still round of eight. I don't think this is round of eight. This is round of eight. No, it's not. This is quarter quarterfinal. We're in the wow. quarterfinals. Wow. Whoopsie Daisy. I know. I knew. Wow. Yeah. I knew this. I've been saying quarterfinal all the time. Every time I've been promoting these matches, I've been going. It's gonna be quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. Because it's the wannabe sweet again. Quarterfinals. This is quarterfinals. I've been saying that all the time, and just for the fact of the streaming title being round of eight. All right, let's focus on the match, guys. This is quarterfinal. Uh, sorry for using the wrong words. I looked at the streaming title and like, all right, it says round of eight. It's round of eight. Uh, but I knew it was something that I recognized here. Uh, it's Futu versus the wannabe Swede, and Futu is already on the tail of the wannabe Swede. Uh, that's why we recognize that we expected an SNJ uh, in the round of eight already, actually, um, where they won and, you know, obviously advanced to the quarterfinal. So whoever wins here is uh, gonna go into the semifinal in the uh, in the Super Cup here. Um, wanna be sweet having the altitude? He seems to be getting around pretty well here. This Using is realistic flaps. battles. The flaps are being used to great, great extent here. But he's still, oh my god, that is not a good position to be in though. Fudu is getting the, is the one who gets the shots off at the moment. I mean, he just couldn't get his nose up, so he kind of had to, he couldn't just pull straight up or else he would have stalled out. So he kind of had to kind of fly a little bit straight. But then obviously he kind of passed Fudu. Fudu also uh, showing off those uh, gladiator decals that if you end up in uh, in a certain position, you'll get uh, a decal from the gladiator tournament, uh, meaning that you know he. But he is one of the players who's been in a team that has gone a long way, which which you can also you you know that like pro probably every single individual in this tournament has the gladiator decals because they they ended up top eight in the previous tournament. Mm. This is the best eight Western team versus the best eight uh, Eastern team. Um, at least in the first round of eight, that's how they were lined up. Then obviously after that, you'll be able to see uh, Eastern versus Eastern and Western versus Western, obviously, uh, depending on who defeats who. And there you go, Fudu finally getting the the important shots, hitting the one of his Swede who turned into flames and exploded. Lost a, lost a wing. He's down. Those 20 millimeter cannons, very, very powerful. They are. So here's how it works, guys. This is one versus one. So this was the first round of one versus one. There's going to be four in total, uh, which means that there's still uh, that means that uh, SV has like a one match advantage now. They they won the first match, the first round. If they win the next one, if they win three, they obviously win. Uh, but they got to win two more to take the point. So. S&J has all the chances here. We're going to be watching each and every one of these rounds and see how they go. All right. And they're pretty quick here, by the way, guys. It's 30 seconds, ready up, bam, bam, bam. Like, they go so quickly through these matches, which is a good thing, obviously. We want to have at le as little downtime as possible between the matches. Uh, want to get into the action quickly. Want to show you guys that. Much better than uh, a few months ago, where people were taking uh, quite a decent amount of time to ready up after each game. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, they've definitely improved the the time between 
everything. They've definitely done that a lot. I mean, with the amount of games, I mean, there's only what, you know, 16 teams, you know, best round of eight. But there's still quite a lot of games packed into two weeks. Mm. You know, at least four or five games per day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we saw the NBSI game go for two hours, and that was even with people readying up in 30 seconds. Mm. If you are watching the match over on uh, twitch.tv slash metagamingtv, I would advise you to head on over to twitch.tv slash warthunder, actually, to watch it from the official stream, uh, the official channel for this match. Uh, you can have both open if you want to, uh, but please, please head over to warthunder and uh, and chat with with us over there as we as that is the ch official channel for the for the Super Cup. So, Nomo versus Angry Cap. It's Ner yeah, Nermo versus Angry Cat. Angry Cat, great nickname. I like that. Nobody likes a happy cat because that's not as fun on YouTube as the Angry Cat. Nope. Again, also using the nice fancy uh, gladiator decal. Yeah, they seem to have the uh, SV seem to be having the the same decal placement down. Might be like uh, you know, like a team wearing their uh, like a team wearing their sport the, the the jerseys, like the the shirts. That was close. I'm waiting for the Ram. That's twice I was, now they've passed I was, pretty I was close. I was hoping for the ram, but I, you know, no bullets were fired. I think I almost didn't hear any. You know, I don't really think they could get their nose just in the oh, right oh, place. Oh, 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 oh! Again, close. They're they're just like high fiving each other. They're like, this is again. We're watching. <gasps> oh, come on! Don't tease me like this. <laughs> this, is, this is not. This is not the way to do it. Ah, oh, the tease. I mean, I've got a feeling look if one this, of the, if these. <laughs> I've got a feeling that if one of these two yaks were to ram into each other, I have a feeling one of them would survive. <laughs> the odds of it happening are rather high. Oh lord, this is interesting. Is Nemo going to be able to get on the tail of Angry Cat? Yes. Means yeah, he, he managed to slow down there, I think. I think he... Uh, yeah, really using those flaps. down. Yeah, and I think he... Oh, oh there we go, there's the fire. There you go, done. GG. I mean, Nermo had damage to his right aileron. Um, in, 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 and, and the, uh, the tail, um, um the rudder, rudder, I, that, that is a word that I will never learn, I will always go like, uh, eh, uh, the, the part that makes you go left and right, <laughs> um, all right, SMJ taking a, taking a match, which means it's one, one in matches, and, uh, or duels, and we'll see who, uh, who manages to pull out the point in the one versus one duels? We, we still have two more to go. Uh, if both, if uh, if they, if each team takes one of each, then it's going to be a draw, and they're going to have to do a fifth one versus one to decide the entire thing. For those of you not used to the speed here, I saw the comment of uh, whether this was slow motion or not, uh, or whether it was simulator or realistic. This is realistic battles. Uh, if you, for example, have played arcade, uh, the action might feel quicker in arcade than it does in realistic or simulator. Uh, where in realistic and simulator, uh, you you do have you know you have no aim assist. Uh, you have you know more more realistic physics happening to your plane. Like you you can break your wings if you pull too hard G forces. It's a whole different ball game. Uh, I do recommend you though if you if you only play uh, play arcade to at least step up and try some realistic battles. The, again, it's it's very very different. Uh, from from what you might be used to, but uh, in my opinion, something very very good that you want to try out. And the and these matches you're watching right now is happening in realistic. And again, both these teams have gone up against a lot of other teams, so these guys are truly the best of the best at what they do. I mean, they've gone up against, that what, like are. at least 100 teams to get to the uh, this round of eight. Mm. And now the quarterfinals, so they must have at least beaten another pretty phenomenal team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just being in the quarterfinal is like... <sighs> like, I, I feel nervous commentating on it. Like, that's that's how big it is. It's, uh, 
I can't imagine how they are feeling. But again, they've been they've been uh, going like to, to be top eight in a tournament. You've actually already reached the quarterfinal before, so this is nothing new to them. This this is at least the second time they're in a quarterfinal. Uh, in one of the gladiator tournaments, um, you know, at least the previous one, each team here did reach it. So it ma it makes it very interesting, definitely, definitely. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Chibi has the most fabulous camo in realistic. <laughs> he does, he does, definitely. I I still want to know what it is though. Is it one flag, two flags, three flags? That's a lot of flags, probably. Put together. And I do want to think SV is a winner, or a top 3 of a Gladiator, because I think the left-wing decal is is actually... I'm not sure if the number goes with it, but the golden Gladiator thing like that must definitely be a special prize. I feel like it's... I, I, I don't know, but it's an interesting thing. And Chippy may... Oh, wow. Chippy did the, the right maneuver here. Came around. Using that energy, got in the nose up and put holes in the engine of Avrar. And now using those. And now using those flaps. Trying to use the flaps to, to stay yeah. behind him, as to not overshoot. Well, actually, both are using flaps, and obviously Avrar is trying to obviously slow down or, you know, get Chippy to to overtake him, but that's not happening. And now he's on fire as well, so I do not see much. I, I, yeah, victory oh. smoke being popped. The BM, <laughs> the BM. That, that is a little BM. <laughs> SV, uh, SV, sorry, S and J pulling it back. Uh, they now have two duels, one uh, versus the one. So next duel could be deciding here whether S and J gets the first point or not. I do feel like we need a um, a way of showing the legs, like who's winning the one v ones currently. Mm. Even getting the gear out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Thirty second ready up. Going into the the fourth one versus one. It all comes down to can Lieutenant Capel win to get. Because uh, Capel is the guy we're gonna see, right? Yes. He's gonna go up against uh, Red Dragon. Red War, Dragon, I'm War. assuming. Yep. I mean, if the SNJ guy can win, they take the first point. If the SV guy wins, they'll tie it up, and there'll be a fifth mm. 1v1. Mm. I mean, I, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put any money on this because it's that difficult to, to know or to to I, I just don't know. I just don't know who's gonna win it, and yeah, I I I, I feel putting my money on any one of them. If the, if there were betting involved, I would probably lose. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's too close to call. All right, we're in the game. <laughs> That's a lot of fancy stars on uh, Red Dragon. Oh yeah, that's some big ass stars. I like that. That's that's simple. But you have some stars on the Capal too. So oh my lord, <laughs> <laughs> is it the white or the red stars that's gonna win it? <laughs> so 
as you guys might know if you watched this before, they have to, in a one versus one duel, they have to pass each other first before they can start engaging. But uh, with that comes a lot of strategy. Some people dive, some people climb. Um, at least Kapal seems to be going level. And now he turns up, which they both do. So now it's just about who's getting their nose. Over first, did, you're getting the first few fire. shots. No. And then he turned and kept climbing to get another... Oh! He did. Uh, no damage initially done. The flap usage on Kapal is like on-off, on-off, click-click, click-click, click-click. You can hear that all the time. Oh... The spinning around and around. Trying to get death. onto one another. The death of dawns. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what's really nice about the Gladiator tournament is that because they are in identical planes, it's all about the skill of the pilot. That is true, and that is that is the beauty. Like that is obviously, and that's that's what it's all about. Like it, it would it would not even be a good tournament if if they were allowed to have different airplanes against each other. Uh, I don't I don't think that would be a good representation of pilot skills. Uh, you know, not I mean it could be, but it would be be it be as good or as close as it is when you have the same planes. Like entering like a sword fighting tournament, and uh, I bring a claymore, and you get a, like a little toothpick. That would obviously not show how good you are with a toothpick against my claim. It it feels like Kapal is still uh, no. It it felt like Kapal was turning slightly more so. Uh, looking around Red Dragon, they're both using the flaps. Obviously, at in this point, uh, I've never seen this airplane being used without having the flaps down like this. Uh, they always, they always want to use those. I mean, the only time um, where we didn't see that much flap usage was in the yes, in yesterday's game with the uh, P thirty seven. Was it? Was it? No, wasn't it the P thirty nine? No, P thirty nine. Yeah. yeah. Nobody was using flaps. Nobody were. And I wonder why though. Is it? Is it like? Is it so? Is is that plane just performing so well without the flaps, or is it performing so bad with the flaps? Like. I haven't flown that plane enough to know that myself. No, and it was in simulator, so maybe it reacts differently. And it was in simulator, that is true. This is taking forever and ever, and this is this is definitely down to being a patient game. Who I feel like the person who, who makes who makes the first move normally loses because they and do something, is, and then the other person just counters it. And that is probably what, what's going to happen here. Like we're just waiting for someone to go like, ah, frack it, I'll try this. Uh oh, <laughs> you know, like that was that was not a good idea. That's probably what we're waiting for at this time. And uh, maybe who runs out of fuel? I don't know. <laughs> don't say that again. That happened. That happened two days ago. We actually had a round going until fuel was out. Yeah, the NBSI game. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah we. Yeah, that part is uh, unfortunately taking some time to get up on YouTube, guys. But when we get the NBSI game up on YouTube, you should all go. I'm gonna go watch it. It's a. It's probably gonna beat most triple A movies because it's like a two-hour-long match. Chief, and, um, uh, the SMJ pilot has managed to damage. Uh, the SV pilots, oh, yes, elevator yes. and rudder. There was nothing in the battle log, but I can clearly see the damage on rudder and elevators. Now that should be what was needed. He won't be turning as well, which means Kapal no. will be able to out turn him, and there, there go. you go, the finisher. That, that, that. There you go. That's it. I thought he was going to ram him then.
So it seems that the person with more stars wins. Oh yeah. The, the, the more stars you have on your aeroplane, the better you will do has been proven here. 100% true. So that means that the first point goes to uh, SNJ as we move into the 2v2. Let's just quickly update the scoreboard. Alright guys, next up is going to be 2 versus 2. It's played in, well, 2 versus 2, but if they're, uh, just like with the 1 versus 1, we're going to watch and spectate each and every round of that. There's going to be two of those. So that could end up in a draw, obviously, uh, at which point they play a third 2 versus 2 to decide it. Um, whoever wins the 2 versus 2 gets two points. Uh, SNJ is now ahead with one point. And they're now getting ready to do that. Looks to be one of be Sweet and Nermo on the SNJ team versus Avror, MD, and Angry Cat on the SV team. Oh, there we go. I was like, I was literally about to say, they're taking a long time to ready up. Hmm. All right. <coughs> I mean, this the 2v2 is almost identical to the 1v1, other than they don't need to mm. cross over. They can just go straight for head-ons. Which rarely happens, though. Mm. Like, rarely you see that. And as you said, Angry Cat and uh, Avro MD versus the wannabe Swede and Nermo. Wannabe Sweden and Nermo looks to be, I mean, splitting up a little bit, which and they're doing the same. So, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have two one versus ones happening at the moment. We'll see. Maybe they connected somehow. That's what it looks like right now. Mm. Oh, okay. And the dance of the death. <laughs> His own. I feel like Nermo could have probably gotten a few shots off there. It felt like it. I was I was expecting it, but it didn't. And now Angry I'm not sure what the tactic is. Was ever somehow has more energy. No, not ever. Angry Cat. It was what I meant. That was unfortunate. If he was, uh, if his plane was turned the other way, he probably would have been able to go on the tail. But it looks like he's leaving. Um, yeah, he's, he's leaving doing Nermo. the right thing. Yes, he's, he's going, going to help. Straight after the wannabe Swede to try and get that 2v1 situation. If he can get a really and quick kill here. Oh. Nope. Now Nerva is coming in though. Now it's the other way around. I need to see if Avro I can get seems oh. to be the, uh, the bait, that's Angry for sure. Cat has finished Nermo. Now it is 2 versus 1. The wannabe Swede has to... Oh, no. He got a little bit of damage on his uh, rudder. And, well, now he's critted. So, with that, uh, it, it looks very good for uh, SV. 
I don't I don't see him doing very well. Like he's struggling, you can tell, like he's really trying to just level the plane. It just kinda keeps turning and turning and you know, rolling for him, which obviously is not a very good thing. Like here we go. Mountain. I gotta say that was very, very, very well done. Taking out one of their opponents straight away and then getting that two V one. It was just, it's just, that was just so smooth. That's how you do it though, but they took a few passes, like uh, he came over, he had a chance, he didn't get it. Um, Nermo then looked to have a chance to actually pay that back, like to, 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 to kind of do the same. Didn't happen, and then Angry Cat actually did it, so. It I mean, we happened. have seen a lot of games where people will just do that 1v1 scenario for 10, 20 minutes. Mm. They just went, nope, there's an opportunity here, let's just go yeah. after one guy. I think it was because he had the altitude that made him um, and he also made and um, you know Nemo dive. It was like I'm probably pretty safe here to go mm -hmm. after the wannabe Swede. Yes. Alright, so they're now switching up. It should be Red Dragon with uh, Futu, I think. Actually, they have a few reserves on SV. It looks like they have uh, some... Uh, you can have up to six players on your team, actually, in the Gladiator. Even though it's a four versus four um, tournament, uh, you can have a team of six players. And every player on that six-man team actually get prizes at the end of the tournament. Um, prizes, I actually i am not sure what it is this time around. They might be... They might not have announced it yet, because I, because I did read most, uh, most if not all of the information on the Super Cup page. I don't think there was mentioning of prizes as of yet, but uh, Cytic and um, wow, Rocket. Brain, brain Freeze Rocket, wow, <laughs> um, couldn't get my tongue around it. I'm like, I, I, know, I know who it is. Like, ugh. so Rocket and Cytic is the two main official sponsors. Um, I I would expect prices coming from from them. Uh, it's just about what is it? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, maybe it will be that cool mouse. I hope they get one each. I would be awesome. <laughs> I hope they get one mouse each. Everybody should get that mouse. I want that mouse. I'll. Uh, wh where's the commentator prices? I feel. <laughs> what I've also uh, just realized is that S and J always seems to be coming from behind. In the first one v one, they lost the first point. Come mm -hmm. back to win three points. Lost the first two v two. Can they win the the? This 2v2. Well, SNJ has to win this uh, second 2v2 to to even have a chance of grabbing the two points. Uh, if they lose now, then uh, the 4 versus 4 will actually decide the entire match. And that is only one 4 versus 4, so they can't afford trying to come behind in that one. <laughs> uh, still waiting. 30 seconds, ready up, is what the ref is saying here. We're now waiting for them to spawn. It's going to be Chippy and Kapal. Two players we've seen a lot before. Two players that I know are active on, on in the Twitch community. So I hope they're not you know, paying too much attention on watching this. Uh, as they should be paying attention to winning the battle in he ahead of them. Uh, one minute to resolve tech problems. Well, then. Isn't that a great opportunity to take a look at that? Uh, Cytec and... Um, it's not a Cytec, but Cytec and Rocket is uh, sponsoring the tournament. Uh, we have a video from Rocket uh, about the mouse that we're, uh, we're, we've been discussing and talking about. We're kind of exciting. It has some cool new features. It has a, has a fin on it. Um, so yeah, play let's, uh, let's play that video. Meet the Rocket Tie-Hunt. Featuring the brand new Rocket Accelerator Analog Thumb Paddle giving you unrivaled command capabilities. The new rocket fin switch, letting you execute multiple maneuvers at the same time. Four ergonomic top buttons, instinctively placed so that you can hunt for prey, not for buttons. Meet the new standard in gaming mouse control. So yeah, guys, as Scream was saying, the fancy mouse that everybody we would like to see win that mouse. That'd be pretty awesome, I have to say. If everybody did get one of those mice. That would be a good price. It would. Like, I mean, I would be happy as hell with that. Um, and SciTech, they have what they, they have joysticks, so I'm kind of assuming it will be something along the lines of that. We, we don't have any official information yet, but as soon as we do, we'll obviously tell you guys what it will be. 
and so will Public Gaijin on the official Super Cup page. You can just go to the main site of WarThunder.com and you'll be able to find it in the news articles, the Super Cup information. Alright. So again, it's going to be a rematch of the two stars. The two stars. And paint jobs. All and, the and the really fancy chippy paint job. <laughs> Red Dragon War doing an upwards turn. Chippy is actually seemingly going to help for going for caught. That's what he's doing. I see the bullets fired, but Chippy is put on like the black smoke. <laughs> he's leaking. Red Dragon is the perpetrator. He has managed to hit him in the first burst of bullets. Kapal is now on Red Dragon, though. He has to finish him off there. Yeah, I'm trying to think what that, I think that's just, you know, when, when the engine is severely critted. I know if it's white smoke, it's coolant, but that looks... Yeah, but black smoke is supposed to be oil, from what I know. Okay. And, uh, so yeah, it, it, and, and, it, and it quickly deteriorates your engine as well. Like, black smoke usually means not very long until engine failure. Talking from experience. <laughs> I mean, the Yak does have quite a sturdy engine. I mean, from, from my experience, it just keeps going. It doesn't oh, it, normally it, it, stop. Chippy hasn't stopped flying, so, you know, with that in mind, he's he's not giving up as long as he can fly the plane. And he is trying to get caught right now. Uh, he has damage on the ailerons as well. Chippy does affect him his, uh, his turning and uh, control. And uh, now poor Kapow is just all on his lonesome. Kind of getting churned up by both of them, both the uh, SV oh. guys. Kapal has damage on the right wing as well. Um, Cot has no visual damage, um, and Red Dragon has no visual damage either. Which obviously, and Kapal is now set on fire. I uh, I feel bad for Chippy because you know now he's he's really has to make every chance count. But from the look of things, it's a two versus one. Kapal managed to very stop damaged. the fire. He did manage to stop the fire, but he's also <laughs> now black smoke pouring everywhere. black smoke as well. So it's the two black smoke plane versus the not black smoke plane. But I mean, look at the oh, oh wow, Kapal did kill. So will these two smoking planes be able to take out Red Dragon? The Yak that doesn't want to go down. So maybe, I mean, Kapal's plane is really badly damaged as well. Uh, this has to come down to Chippy now. But I mean, Red Dragon's oh. going pretty slow. He's low. He hasn't got a lot of altitude to play with. I mean, he if you can just outmaneuver them and just stay patient, he actually has the win in the bag just by that. I'm also thinking, if Chibi and Kibal goes capture the capture point, is that is, is it like, can two planes capture Well, I feel plane? like Dragon is close enough that he'll just stop the cap. Oh, okay, so it will stop with one plane against two. Uh, come on, this is interesting. Will Chippy get it? No. Oh, is just struggling Kipper, with the plane. Kipper, 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 yeah, he's he's taking big turns. Like he he doesn't have the micro movement capability. He he he's he's taking like the wide strokes, just hoping. Oh, I'm waiting for Chippy just I go. Think Chippy just ran just out of ram. cannon shells. Mm. I think he just ran out of cannon shells, or he actually it it seemed like it because he was firing both. And I, I I honestly think he ran out of those. He only has machine guns left. I mean, those machine guns still hurt, but obviously. It's not as good as a 20 millimeter cannon, that is for sure. And I also feel Seriously, like one of these Kapal guys could just run. Not even doing anything. Like, well, he, again, we've already discussed that he's he's broad pretty strokes. pretty damaged. I'm just waiting for Chippy just to go sod it, ram, ramming speed. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I mean, his plane is damaged so long as you know Kapow can stay in the air for you know 15 or 20 seconds afterwards. Chippy could just throw away his plane and hit. Here, um, yeah, but you gotta hit him. <laughs> yes, I mean. And I think that engine is about to give up. Oh, oh my God! Those machine guns don't do much. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty I good for setting things on fire. Oh my, yes, yeah. having such little control of your aircraft and knowing that your engine's about to die, knowing that you're out of cannons and every machine gun round is now. Very, very precious. 
It's interesting having... that uh, Red Dragon hasn't been able to outturn them at least slightly, so at least kill one of them, because he should be able to do that. Well, I mean, he's he's got to try and climb up, and if he tries to climb, he's obviously going to be a very easy target. So he's got to try and dodge, even though Chippy is damaged, he's still got to try and dodge him when he comes to shoot him. I mean, I do feel like it, I mean, it's more of a war of attrition at this point. I mean, Red Dragon, as you said, could just hold on, and at some point these engines oh, yeah. will die. If, if the Red Dragon just avoids all the, uh, like the bullets they have, you know, they will run out of ammo too, as probably. Uh, but, but, you know, for as long as the Red Dragon's engine is working and the plane is flying, then uh, these guys are on borrowed time. Like they're, Exactly. Uh, you know, there's, there is that. There is definitely that. And I feel Chip is getting like ch like all these opportunities, but he's you know he's on he's on the small machine guns, and I don't know if it's, that's enough. Capal, I I don't almost not considering he's actually firing there now, but yeah, he just fired a few hot shots. I feel like as you said, these guys are probably going to get rather frustrated with the lack of control of their aircraft. Oh, Red Dragon! Red Dragon's not almost out of ammo, is he? I mean, even no, he just know. fired machine gun rounds there. Yeah, maybe he's just trying to save those. I, I don't know. Oh, Chippy. Chippy. <laughs> oh, can you outturn him? That's probably... Oh, oh, no. I mean, you could have. All, he could have almost gone for collision there, I felt like, but uh, maybe not. The, the t I don't know how much the right aileron damage will affect his turning. I mean, it probably does a little bit. There's Kapalis coming. No, the fact he's just... Every now and then, managing to get in and fire some shots. It feels like if he decided to not. Hmm. What is the strategy here? Try to not fall into Just... the water or hit a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great strategy, I hear. The strategy I live by. Do not hit the water nor mountain. Mm. And you'll be fine. Oh. Go on, Chippy, go for the ram. Nope. Almost. <laughs> I feel like if he was further in to do that turn, he probably would have gone for the ramp. This match is taking its time. This is what happens oh. when people start spraying and praying. Oh. Oh. And plus you've oh. got two guys oh. Hammerhead who have... almost, like, stall, and... Nope. And I feel like he's turning away rather than at least trying to get into the turn. I guess he... I don't know. I mean, he knows he can't turn with him. So he doesn't want to waste energy trying to turn with Dragon. Mm. I mean, that's just pointless. I wish I knew what throttle he was running on that engine right now. I mean, it sounds just as loud as Dragon's. Yeah. There's probably I about 100. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, how much oil do these planes have? Well, apparently, Russian oil is not as other oil. Uh, I don't know, man. O wait a second. It just means that the black smoke looks thinner, or is that because he's going quicker? No, that looks thinner to me too. That looks like it's it's gone. It's running out then maybe? Maybe maybe Wait, I know. No it's no it's thicker again. Okay, I don't know how this leak works. Us okay, yeah, maybe it's self replicating oil. I don't know. All I oh, all I do know oh, is the Russian plane's oh, very resilient. No. There's a lot of trees here. Yeah, for Capal, you mean. Red Dragon has managed to get energy and climb up, actually. I, I, oh, Kapal could not stay afloat, stay afloat, fly, 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 fly. yeah, afloat, let's say that, afloat, afloat. <laughs> in the air, and, and now the Red Dragon is coming down on Chippy, so let's this see if is, he does uh, have cannons, oh, oh, BM, oh the BM, BM, <laughs> oh, BM, I love it, I love BM, BM is my favorite uh, dish, and, oh, he's doing it too, though. How like, funny would it be if Red Dragon he's was... He's not even... Wait, what? He's I like... think he's out of ammo. I mean, he did... He, did, he I... I mean... Oh, he's just toying with him. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, one shot. Puts him straight on fire. If I was Chippy or... Oh, um... my God. Oh, my God. Wow. If I was Chippy or Kapow, I would be so livid. I mean, he'd literally put, like, what, four or five shells into them, get set on fire. I would be so livid. I'd be like, why did that happen to me? <laughs> uh, BM question mark. Yeah, BM stands for bad mouthing or bad, bad manners. manners. Okay, bad manners. So it's like, you know, being rude, being uh, 
douchey, like being like, you know, yeah, like bad mannered. You're <laughs> you're being a D to your opponent. <laughs> you're trash talking them. Yeah, trash talking. <laughs> uh well. So now means that means that the four v four can't go into a draw. Yep, that's exactly true. Uh, uh, SV now took two points. That means that it's two points for SV and one point for S and J, um, which uh, you know makes the four versus four match, which is worth three points, uh, meaning everything right now. Like the the winner here goes on to the. To the semi-finals. Uh, mm. Whoever loses drops down to the loser bracket and still have a, has a chance to, to pull through there. Uh, so you're, they're not out of the tournament, but staying up in the winner bracket obviously comes with all the benefits of being able to lose one game and drop down, right? Uh, so, so obviously, you know, this is still super important. It's not, it's not like anybody's going like, well, it doesn't matter. We can do it in the loser bracket. Like, obviously, you want to continue in the winner bracket with all the advantages of that. The next is four versus four. This is where it all counts. Mm -hmm. This is where the most fun happens too. Now you have eight planes all flying close to each other. We saw when I said it last time, I said there was going to be a ram in the in the game yesterday, and there was a ram. So I'm gonna call that there is going to be another ram. I'm just going to call it now. <laughs> the call. Mm -hmm. It's so funny that both Kepal and... Well, I don't see Chippy now, but I know he was... But at least Kepal is actually in the War Thunder Twitch channel chatting with the viewers uh, about the match as they are, like, at this, while they're actually playing. So it's kind of funny. Like, not while flying, but... You have the, but you know, he's doing that right now. He's saying that um, the, the fire that Kapal caught well, caused the damage, uh, so he couldn't do anything, and he was just so damaged after the fire had went out anyway. Um, and uh, what happened with Chippy's shots was that they sparked, so they just didn't do enough. As I so said, it's going to be down to the four versus four. I, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know. Uh, Kapow and Chippy were just like, man, why couldn't my shell set the dude on fire right at the end? <laughs> like, I would, I would, uh, I would feel like the game is against me. We'll see. We'll see as we move into the four versus four here. If I don't see a ram, I am going to be disappointed now. <laughs> they're now starting and it is Kapal, Wannabe Swede, Chippy, Nermo on the SNJ side versus Red Dragon War, Av Avrar, MD, MP Cot, and Angry Cat on the SV side. And this is the four versus four. This is uh, where it matters now. There can be no draw here. Nope. One team has to win, and the winning team wins the quarterfinal of Realistic Battle Super Cup 2015. Who's going to be the first one to go down? An angry Cat right in the middle of most of the uh, SNJ guys. He's just gone pretty deep. <laughs> I see Wannabe Swede shots. fielding solo here. He's uh, he's still fighting over here. Nermo is helping now. He's fighting him caught. Uh, which Wannabe Swede is trying to get his nose on. Oh, he is, but he, oh, he, a few bullets fired. Kapow has not connect. Has uh, put some pretty deep black smoke onto one of the SV guys. Red Dragon. Wannabe critically Swede damaged. critically damaged mm. by Red Dragon. I don't see. Oh, it's the fuselage. He's leaking cooling. Yeah, I don't see any damage anywhere else other than the uh, fuselage. Avrar is leaking black smoke again. 
for leaking black smoke. Oh, yeah. no, 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 the been black smoke fire. container has been put on. <laughs> put a hole in. Who was set on fire? No, me. Oh, he is. I'm seeing him. Oh, but he stopped the fire. Doing the old put the throttle to zero tactic. <laughs> Red Dragon is trying to get a wannabe Sweet Rider this time here. Uh, Nermo is coming around though. Um, and Kapow. Dippy is being fired at home. Again, Angry Cat just going after two guys. He was on Chippy, then he went straight to uh, uh, the wannabe Swede. He's just getting in everywhere. He Ever just wants, he just wants assists damaged. and shots everywhere. Uh, Cot has damaged left Aileron. Angry Cat really is trying to get uh, Nermo, who has a lot of damage. Oh, there we go. Finished. Nermo is the first one to go down in this 4 versus 4. Makes it a 3 versus 4 at this point. Chippy now on fire. Oh. Fire's everywhere. Yep. Yeah. That fire does not look like a good one, though. I don't think that's going to go out anytime soon. And it's damaging him a whole lot very quickly. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. That went the wing. He is out of this game. It's now a two versus four. It is, does not look very mm, good nope. for the, the last guy. Guys, standing is sweet. They're down to the last guy, which is nobody. Wait, actually, nobody. Yeah. Wow, the last guy. Went the wannabe Swede was wow. the last guy. They went down quicker than I would, than my commentary did. <laughs> SV takes the victory. They uh, they now get three points for this victory in the four versus four, putting them at. Five points versus one. Uh, SNJ were the guys to take the first uh, one versus one round and taking one point. Uh, felt like they, they got close to uh, to at least drawing out the two versus two into a third two versus two round. Uh, unfortunately for them, they didn't manage to do that. The four versus four became the most important mode and match in the entire series, and uh, SV secured that pretty nicely. They. They, they managed to get the, the SNJ guys down entirely without losing a single plane themselves. Actually, MP caught to have a death on him, so... I, from, if we go by the score sheet, I actually missed that. Uh, then they did uh, actually lose one guy. But still, having three of them alive, getting all of the enemies, again, very decisive. That means that uh, SV is going to move on to the quarterfinal, and SNJ will have to battle it out in the loser bracket. So we will be moving on quite quickly to the next, to the next game. Let's see what time is it? It's about it's about time. Uh, I'll I guess how how are you doing this? Are you like cutting the stream? Yeah, I'll stop. Or... I'll stop the stream. Restart. Yeah, okay. Okay, that seems fair. Good. I'll take a quick toilet break. <laughs> break. I hope you did not get that on stream. I did. <laughs> you did. Obviously, you did. Cut that Shh. out in the rendering. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs>